What's the mood in the camp, John, um, after, after last week's <laughs> defeat at Newport? It's fine. The boys are fine. You know, we, footballers are always better when they get their boots and their training kit on and back at the training ground. So Monday morning was that kind of day. Sunday's the day where you, you contemplate things and you think about things and they either get you down or they don't sort of thing. But Monday's the day when everybody's back together. And from then onwards, we've, we've had a game on the Tuesday, which was very profitable in terms of people getting game time. And, and we've obviously done very, very well. So players are fine. Looking forward to the next game. I'll just get that wasp out of Kirsty's hair. It's gone. <laughs> yeah, that, that um, game in the week, it was another yeah. chance for Ryan Brent to play and he scored as well. Yeah, he scored. He got an hour. Matty Gill got an hour and Gary Kenneth got a full game in to add to his hour last week so there's a, there's a little bit of light at the end of that injury tunnel which is good for me. Ryan Bryant is he in contention to start this weekend? Yeah he is I mean he came on for the 20 minutes it was a bit of a late shout from my part last weekend to put him in there and, and give him that opportunity after a bit of quick consultation with my physio and he's got another hour this week and he's fitting well and if everything stays that way then he's got a good shout. But same squad as um, Newport is it for yes, Saturday? It be, yeah. Um, what about York? They've won one, lost one, drawn one so far this season. <laughs> yeah, there's not many goals either, are there? So, you know, people will be looking at that saying not too many goals between the two teams. But we're, we're organised and we'll be together and we'll try and get ourselves a win. But they'll be tough opponents. They were last year when Nigel got into, into their team and got into their club and sorted them out and got them organised. They came with a five-man midfield kind of got through the first 20 minutes pretty well for them uh, that was when we needed a goal to open the game up but yeah it was a tight match last year and I expect the same now yeah nil nil um, are you expecting similar tactics from York and this time out well I can't really answer that Nigel's got to decide on that what he'll do I think people have, will pay us respect they have done whatever team we've put out you know the, I remember Brian Laws saying a couple of weeks ago that was the time to beat us but we stuck at the, our guns last week and, and, and the last home game sorry and, and did very very well so certainly at home we've got to be adventurous as we can and go forward and try and win the game but as I said I don't know what York City will do until sort of three o'clock really. And is it right to say there's a determination amongst the players to put in a performance after last week yeah, as well? Yeah there is well generally you know I had to grumble at the end of the game the more I look at it the, the area we didn't sort of get together was at the top end of the pitch I didn't think we created enough we've conceded a goal off a set play which again was slightly dubious anyway in the terms of the decision but in free play we defended extremely well as a team and as a group taking away from home against a team that was flying so We've just got to take it all in perspective. I think I said to you on Monday, or if, if, we'd, if we'd not conceded the penalty and it was nil-nil, we'd have been patting ourselves on the back saying, what a good backs-to-the-wall job there, Done a good, got a good point. Results affect how you feel and how you think. It's only later when you sort of contemplate things a little bit, as I've done, and think, OK, we've got, we've got three quarters of the teams working pretty well in terms of midfield, back, back four, goalkeeper, that's going all right. We've now got to work harder and get the front team, part, part of the team uh, operating well.